Four-wheel drive is not on all the time under normal conditions. Only the rear wheels drive the vehicle forward, while the front wheels spin freely. To activate a modern four-wheel drive system, the driver has to push a button or pull a lever to engage it. But four-wheel drive isn't meant to be on all the time, so you have to know when to turn it on and when to turn it off. But all-wheel drive is on all the time and mostly used in cars, and the computer manages the system. Just going down the highway, the system will send most of the power to the rear wheels for maximum fuel efficiency. If the road condition changes, such as rain or snow, the system adapts and evenly distributes the power evenly to all four wheels. So you have maximum drive grip with little to no chance of wheel spin. In contrast, on a normal two-wheel drive car, or even a four-wheel drive in two-wheel drive mode, the power transmitted to the wheels will always look for the path of least resistance, which is normally the tyre that is spinning and not propelling the vehicle forward. Most people will be familiar with this when it rains, when they accelerate off at the lights or at an intersection and the drive wheel just spins on the wet slippery road. All-wheel drive cars do not do this. Since owning my Subaru Outback, I have never spun my wheels on a wet slippery road either taking off at the lights or turning at an intersection. When I drove my two-wheel drive cars and four-wheel drive in two-wheel drive mode, I would slip all the time, and I even spun 180 degrees in my Nissan Patrol. So what advantage does four-wheel drive have over all-wheel drive? Well, in extreme surface conditions such as loose stones, dirt, deep mud, snow or water, a four-wheel drive system can provide more traction and control for the driver. But vehicles still set in four-wheel drive mode can be dangerous once back on dry tarmac roads, as axles are not designed to rotate at the same speed in normal cornering. Four-wheel drive is better for off-road and extreme weather conditions, but is usually only turned on when required for those conditions. But all-wheel drive stays on all the time, and is better for more general driving conditions. Plus it gives the car a sporty feel. Both systems add quite a bit of weight to the vehicle, and you will end up paying for this at the fuel pump, as both types of vehicles are not very fuel efficient. Four-wheel drives, because they are usually big and heavy, with heavy complex drive systems, and all-wheel drive, because it is always active. I've been driving my Subaru Outback for two years now, and I love it. It is less fuel efficient than my old two-wheel drive car, but I have never had any wheel slippage on wet roads, when taking off at lights or at intersections, and it feels like a heavier and safer car. But even though you have all this extra safety and peace of mind, 90-95% to of the time you are just driving around your local suburb, and it does bug me that I'm not as fuel efficient as other cars. To give you an idea how bad it is, my old 94 Mitsubishi Galant V6 front wheel drive got about 450 kilometers per 60 litre tank in city and suburb driving. My 2006 Subaru Outback four cylinder gets about 350 kilometers per 60 litre tank. So two cylinders less and I still get 100 kilometers less per tank. It does make you think is this constant all-wheel drive really worth the extra money? I guess it all depends if you drive often in bad weather conditions. Then I think you will agree, it does. Anyway, 